of veterans. Marion Wilson against Mike the Bounty Hunter. Mike Hunter, 36 years old and going strong. Mike Hunter's been around a long time, he's fought all the veteran fighters. We've seen him before in Cedric Kushner's series. This is a fight that has gone this long. This is Jimmy Andrew Galata, to name just two. Coming up, a heavyweight explosion. Buckle your seatbelts, brought to you by Corona Extra. La Cerveza Masfina. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions and Corona Extra present professional boxing for your entertainment here at the Trump Taj Mahal Casino Resort in Atlantic City. All the bouts you see tonight are sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr. Let's get things started with a 10-round bout. This is in the heavyweight division. When the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action is Eddie Cotton. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the green trunks and weighing in at 214 pounds from Greenville, South Carolina, he brings a professional record of 25 victories against five defeats with two draws, eight KOs to his credit. The former USBA heavyweight champion, he is Mike the Bounty Hunter. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 217 and one half pounds from Hillcrest Heights, Maryland. This veteran is seven and 16 with three draws, three KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, Marion Wilson. Boxers, you received your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands. Let's touch gloves. Larry Michael, John Saraceno, and John, what kind of fight do you expect to see here with Marion Wilson and Mike the Bounty Hunter, two veterans? A lot of times you'll see a, a more experienced guy like Mike Hunter try and jump on a guy like this, but Mike is a pretty cautious boxer. We know Marion Wilson has muscles, but can he fight? Marion Wilson in the black trunks, Mike Hunter in the green trunks, and as we said, Mike Hunter, a veteran, Sometimes can clown in the ring. Don't expect to see that tonight, though, against Mo Wilson. One thing Mike doesn't have anymore, and that's good knees. It's like a homemade uh, rap job there on his knees with the black knee braces and adhesive tape. Of course, there was another former heavyweight champion who had pretty bad knees, Michael Spinks, and he was a pretty good fighter for a while with those. But uh, they're going to roll that a slip. That's a slip or a trip. They got tangled up. Good body shot there by Wilson. You know, Mary Wilson, very well physically conditioned. The big man. Also, he's winging him, Larry. Fancy stuff in there. Not only that, a little bit of frustration on uh, the hunter's face. He's trying to push him off so he can get his jab pumping. But I'll tell you what, Ronnie's carrying his hands really low, Larry, after he jabs. And that's why Marion Wilson threw that overhand right across the, over the top. And these fighters were delayed before they came into the ring, John. They had warmed up, then they had to wait. And it seems as though Marion Wilson did a better job staying warm than Mike Hunter. Definitely looks like, looks like he's more ready here in the first round. You see Mike going to the body there a little bit. Trying to get, right, up there too. Right, trying to get Mary to drop those hands a little bit so he can get through with his jab. Fight schedule for 10 rounds. Heavyweights. The Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. And we see Marion Wilson trying to impose his strength on the inside with Bounty Hunter. Bull rush there by Wilson. Head down. Not, not a smart move. You got to be punching when you're moving forward. You can't just lunge in with a guy like Mike Hunter. Referee for this bout is Eddie Cotton. And again, Wilson with the rush in. Pretty good action here in the first round. Not much of a feeling out process for these two veterans. There's a lot of little dirty stuff going on here, especially in those clinches. Wilson just tried to hit the hunters in the back of the head.
against Marion Wilson. Hunter in the green trucks, Wilson in the black trucks. Nice overhand right there by Wilson, frustrating. Mike Devani Hunter. Well, if Mike had his jab working a little bit better, I can't reach wouldn't be as easy to throw that. So left hand by Mike Hunter. Now Mike is uh, showing off a little bit his boxing skills. What a swelling around the right eye of Marion Wilson already here in round two. I, I think Bounty Hunter realizes that he's in for a tough fight here. You can kind of sense how he's fighting Wilson by giving some respect, retreating a little bit, and just trying to take his shots. He's being very selective. Hunter looking a little sharper here in round two in the early going of round two. Nice double jab there by Wilson. Hunter doesn't hold. He wants to be loose. Vicious body shot just misses, but Hunter scores with a straight right hand. Also, you can see the effects of age here. Mike Hunter, 36 years old, does not fight the full three minutes of the round. Now he's using his jab, really taking portions of the round off and allowing Wilson to kind of get into the fight and stay into the fight. See all this posing here that Hunter's doing? To me, this is just blow time for him to, to, to take a deep breath and, uh, you know, kind of regain that, keep that stamina. Also doing some pretty good body work, Chuck. And Mike Hunter really winds up. That's a telegraph punch, isn't it? Yeah, you, there's no need to throw those kinds of punches. But evidently, Hunter doesn't have that much respect for Marion Wilson. He feels he can telegraph him. We go inside. Wilson is definitely getting the better of the work on the inside. He's been a stronger fighter, although you saw there, Bounty pushing right to the ropes. If I were Wilson's trainer, I would strictly have him going to the body. Just working that body of the body hunter. Nice right hand by Wilson scores. Right on the tip of the nose he caught him. Mike Hunter smiles, but it usually means that he did You didn't like that, Larry. You know that old trick. Yeah? Mike is trying to steal the rounds by doing what he's doing right here, which is backpedaling, just trying to flick out the jab. As we said in our open, Marion Wilson has never been knocked out. There's a sneaky right hand by Hunter. A lot of gamesmanship and talking. In fact, uh, Hunter talking to uh, referee Cotton. I think he's complaining. Wilson's using his head. Good body shots inside by Wilson, right to the midsection of Mike Hunter. Round two of the books here at the Taj Mahal. Larry Michael along with John Saracino. Marion Wilson. Winded in his corner, but he has to feel good about the way he started this fight. Certainly he's right in the fight after two rounds, and uh, he's given uh, Bounty Hunter the fits, really, here. But Bounty Hunter's used to starting off slow and then picking up steam, so to speak, if you can do that if you're 36 years old. What I'm trying to say is that he will fight his fight and won't allow Mary Wilson to take him out of it. If it's good enough, it is. If it isn't, it's not. I think that's how Bounty Hunter approaches it. John, well, one guy's 32 years old, the other guy's 36. How much of what the corner says do they listen to? Sam, and 
Yeah. Uh, Hunter probably filters out 90% of that, and he'll take one or two things okay. back into the center of the ring. Hand right, but be closer next time, okay? Round three on the way at the Taj Mahal. Here in Atlantic City. Lock the bounty hunter. 25, 5, and 2 with eight knockouts. 36 years old against 32-year-old Marion Wilson from Hillcrest Heights, Maryland. 7, 16, and 3. Is the record for Wilson with three knockouts. So neither fighter possessing what you call knockout power. That Mike Hunter did not like that body work that Wilson was laying on him, Larry, and he just came back with a couple of body shots just to keep him at bay a little bit. See how to try to set up that uppercut right there. So Mary Wilson, not a big guy, but you can see all the armor he's put on. At one time, he was fought at 186 pounds five years ago. So you can see there's a lot of weight. Some of that weight might not be natural weight. So his punching power is not going to be what you might think it is. 32 years old, though, John. How much could be his real weight? It's like pretty solid anyway to me. Look at the body, too, you know, you're right. That's the best place for him to concentrate. Yeah, body hunter does not like it to the body. When you're 36 years old, you want to be taking shots to the liver. And uh, Mary Wilson's doing great body work today. It really, what, what Bounty Hunter's trying to do is kind of BS his way through the fight. That's what he's trying to do here. He's trying to just get Marion Wilson into the latter rounds where he can use his experience and his boxing ability and steal some rounds. You can see the left side for the second time in this fight. That was a push. That was a push. And there it goes down. He's wobbly though, John. You can see it. He's wobbly. Just a shock of going down. I'll tell you something. Bounty Hunter doesn't have the best of legs. And we already know he doesn't have the best of legs. Yep, right rolling his left eye. Over the left eye, Bounty Hunter. There you can see it very clearly. So, some kind of punch landed in that sequence. See if this is the point of this fight. Where the momentum goes in one man's direction right now. Wilson continues to pound the body of Hunter. And Mike's making a very ele uh, elementary mistake by throwing that uppercut from so far on the outside. He can get countered very easy, easily by Marion Wilson. I guess Hunter figures that uh, Wilson doesn't have enough skill to sidestep that and throw the right hand. Good right hand by Wilson and a left jab by Wilson. Wilson taking command of this fight here in the third round. Hunter's punches off the gloves of Wilson. Mike Hunter's just trying to survive this round with his experience. This has not been a good round for Mike Hunter. Wilson ducks the right hand. Keeps on pounding away. The left side of Mike Hunter is turning red from that punishment. You saw there, Larry, at the end of the round, when Hunter heard the uh, pounding on the ring to signal the end of the round, how Hunter started pumping the jab in hopes of trying to steal the round. But clearly, that was Marion Wilson's round. McConkey right the body the up the The doctor up to ringside. Taking a look at that cut. You understand? Uh -huh. You got to pop, you got to pop, bring it back. Pop the ring up here. Lean toward me, Bonnie, over the way. And Wilson doing a tremendous job working the body, John. Take a look at the right hand, right here. Big. And he's been laying down low like that all night, getting inside, doing good body work. And Mike Hunter's corner is telling him, you got to pop the jab to make him move back a little bit. The battle to the Tibbets tonight. I wonder where the Marla is. And they don't call her that, do they? I guess that was a little presumptuous to, to refer to as the Marla. Yeah, maybe he calls her the Marla. <laughs> That's straight right there by Marion Wilson to open the fourth round. Well, Marion Wilson is just taking control of this fight in the third round. I've got him ahead after three rounds. But more than just being ahead, he's really dictating the pace of the fight, Larry. And I tell you, Mike Hunter is fighting like he's in trouble. He's doing what Tommy Hearns did against Marvin Hagler after Hearns got hurt. He's, got, he's very unsteady on his legs and he's trying to box his way around the ring to stay out of trouble. And he got hurt with that shot. This fight reminds me a lot of Hearns Hagler. Wow. 
And so neither guy has a shaved head. Oh, look at that left jab by Wilson. How do we want to begin to show his age right now, Jack? Uh, trust me, when Mike climbs the steps, he shows his age. Now a good start to the round, the fourth round by Marion Wilson. Trying to get that jab going, he's been effective. The other question is, can Marion Wilson sustain this attack over the course of the fight? In other words, not let up, continue the body attack, continue the pressure, continue to jab Mike Hunter. Because if he allows Hunter to take him, you know, seconds off. Well, you see how slow Mike is with his punches. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's not with that right hand. Yeah, you can time those punches with a sundial. And he's throwing it very low, very wide. There's the body shots again. Real taking a toll on Mike Hunter. He's about ready to, to knock that tattoo off. Right? Oh, just gets slapped down. Yeah. Right back, right back. Yeah. Right back. 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 And somebody has alerted the referee, thank goodness. And he's looking for it. It's in the middle of the ring, Mr. Cotton. Right under your foot. He can't find it. I guess it's like finding a needle in a haystack, sort of. Quite funny sometimes, you know. <laughs> Isn't that how it always happens? But why does it happen to happen on television? Uh, Eddie Cut just looked over and said, didn't see it down there. What can I do? And we had a referee one night in Las Vegas here, and he split his pants down the backside. Believe me, that was a lot more embarrassing not being able to find the mouthpiece. The blood is stuck low from the left hand by Mike Hunter. But Wilson chasing him around. Hunter's turned his back and taking punishment. Mike almost doesn't look like he wants to fight. When you do that, you're telling the opponent and the, and the ring official that you don't want to fight. He's basically turning his back. He goes some of the show blowing tactics to try to turn the tide for Mike Hunter. Mike trying to catch him with a sneaky uppercut coming in. And there with the left uppercut, there was a glancing blow off the side of his chin. Let's go, let's go, let's go. there, too, by Mike Hunter. Mike Hunter keeps stretching out his arms, Larry, like something's wrong with his shoulders, particularly his right shoulder. You see him reaching out. I gotta believe something's wrong with him physically. Another good body shot by Wilson. So we approach the end of round four. Four rounds in the books here in Atlantic City. Yo, business guy, you see that he's looking to see you? Look at him, boy, you gotta keep it this shady. As long as you lay back, you allow him to get more energy. You know what I'm saying? You in good condition, man. You can go, man. Keep your hands moving, baby. Okay, we got a match. Oh, fuck it up, man. We got to see this movie. Come on. Yeah, no condition. And when I tell you to dab and swim, when I tell you dab and swim, you know the swim is. To the corner of my hunter. Dab, dab, and swim. He's right there. Now they're trying to give me some hooks off that, okay? Hunter, you're right. Okay. Didn't look like you wanted to fight at times. Your turn is back on Mary Wilson. You got still in the boat? There's a good right hand followed by the champ by Wilson. And grabbing the ropes, which of course is illegal. You never see it called, though, and it does give the fighter some balance when he's eating. Come on now, tighten up this one. Marion Wilson's corner gave him some very good advice between rounds, Larry. That was, don't lay back. You're in good shape. Don't let this guy get an extra breath. Stay on him and make him fight. He's 36 years old. Break the corner up! He also told him to initiate the action. Don't let him fire first. See, why, why does Mike Hunter keep raising his right shoulder like this? Almost like he's saluting. I thought I was waiting to you. No, I don't know. Right there by Hunter. Maybe his best punch off the fight. Well, the uppercut that fell to Hunter. It was, Larry. That was a solid blow. He just caught him on the top of the head. A lot of times that will cause a fighter's head to buzz. Mary Wilson's got to use that jab. He can't just lay in that zone and not punch. Or just move forward without punching. See how he's moving forward? He's not punching. But you can see that other right hand. He's right in Mike's zone, and that's not where he wants to be unless he's getting off. This is a much better round for Mike Hunter. And he needs it because he's trailing. Oh, right hand by Wilson. I don't know if I've hit or not, but Hunter 
Yeah. Took him back step. I think that might have been more of a glancing blow. Good body shot by Hunter. There's a jab. And the blow began to flow again to that left dime of Mike Hunter. You can also see Hunter trying to sucker Wilson in by dropping his left hand, inviting him to throw the right hand, and then trying to, you know, counter. But I don't know if Mike can do that in his stage of his career. The body shots continue to find the mark on the ribs of Mike Hunter. And Mike Hunter's hands are down. At least Marion Wilson has a defensive posture. Well, you saw how off balance Mike Hunter was there with that shot, how slow he was to deliver. We have some tape, but this is the... Uh, that's the gaffer's tape that came loose. You don't see that happen much. That sounds like a union yeah. problem. <laughs> well, there could be some you don't want to pay after the fight. I say to all, hello to all my friends at Local 636 back in Erie, Pennsylvania. Hi, guys. I'm on your side. Marion Wilson chiseled. You know, we said before the telecast, Larry, that Marion Wilson usually goes a distance not as, as long as Mike Hunter does, but Hunter's last. Five fights have gone 10 rounds, and the previous four fights went 12. This might be a good break for Mike Hunter right now to have the love taped. Well, this is an old trick that your friend Lou Duva has done in the past, also Angelo Dundee, to give their fighters a blow. I don't know if it was done intentional, but certainly it does help out a guy who needs a breather. Another right hand. The mouthpiece out again from the mouth of Mike Hunter. Marion Wilson scores with a left to right. They're right. Did a lot of damage. And all of a sudden, Mike Hunter beginning to bounce. And then we have another break in the action. Mike Hunter claims he doesn't like it. Well, but you know what? He claims he doesn't like it. But you know what happens there? A lot of times guys okay. are spit mouthpieces on purpose. And he's getting more of a referee than he will have a point deducted the next time he spits the bit. That's a very, that's a clever ploy that a, a, a seasoned fighter will do when, he, when he's in trouble. He'll start opening his mouth and spitting that thing out so he can get a breather. Hunter wants by the combinations of Wilson again. Uh, Marion Wilson is just glued to that tattoo on, on Hunter's chest. He is putting his head down and firing away. Doesn't look pretty, but I'll tell you what, it's been very effective. A good defense by Marion Wilson as well. Keeps his hands up high. And really has not shown much fatigue. Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah, when you're running at a 7-16, any hit of victory or leading in a fight, it's got to give you confidence. Larry Michael and John Saracino. We are through five rounds. And Mr. Saracino. Give us your scorecard. We've got Wilson has three rounds at two, but this is going to be a very interesting fight to score because there's a lot of infighting and sometimes it's difficult to see who is scoring the better blows. Now, Mike Hunter, you say one bad round and he scored his best, best punch of the fight. In round five, it was an uppercut. And there it is. Great shot. Marion Wilson. Yeah, and the go ahead and go. Continue. Right. The same place right there, the left ribs. He's going to be hurt tonight. Four to five, Mo. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Four to five. You understand? Know, yes, sir. All right. All right. Okay, let's do that. All right. This is right. Double, double, double jab right here. Make sure you wait in the corner. Don't forget to for, uh, join us for the main event coming up in just a few moments. Lou Savarese unbeaten, 31 and 0, taking on only an Alexander. After this one, and it's a pretty good fight in the ring right now. Mike the Bounty Hunter and Marion Wilson, very competitive fight, John. Very close fight, and we're seeing Wilson coming out and reestablishing the jab, which is what he needs to do. You know, sometimes fighters who aren't very accomplished or they've done very well in their career. They can do some good things in the fight, but the bad habits start taking over as the fight progresses. And really, Marion Wilson abandoned that jab, which allowed him to get inside. Stop punching, step back. Mike Hunter speaking to Marion Wilson of the clinch there. I wonder what he said. Lay off, huh, baby? Some kind of trash talk that's common nowadays. Sloppy punches by Hunter. I always wonder how fighters have enough energy to even utter anything while they're fighting. 
Seems that Marion Wilson was doing more instruction to his corner than he was receiving. Sometimes a fighter is his own best trainer. But you saw in Mike Hunter's corner, his trainer telling him that don't load up on the punches, throw the jab, punch in combination. Well, in theory, Larry, that's all correct. But in reality, you've got a 36-year-old fighter just trying to catch uh, Wilson there with that sneaky uppercut, who's doing probably the best he can, maybe injured, he's on weary legs, and it's just not that easy. You have to give some credit to Marion Wilson for his defense as well. Keeps his hands high, fires a left jab. Again, a style and some ability that does not jive with his 7-16 record. And there you see Mike Hunter just a, basically a pathetic effort at a punch. Hunter is getting by on sheer guile and guts right now. That's all this is. And, and with a guy that's been around as long as he has against a guy like Perry Wilson, that'll carry a long way. But it may not be enough to win the fight. Hunter looks tired. Wilson looks okay. Wouldn't say he looks tired. Wouldn't say he looks fresh. We are in round seven, scheduled for ten. Mike Hunter, not exactly a familiar face here in Atlantic City. He hasn't fought in New Jersey since he fought Dwight Muhammad Kwawi in 1990 and won a 12-round decision. Marion Wilson was in the New Jersey area in Atlantic City back in March with his eight-round decision loss to Shannon Briggs. Another one of those upcoming young heavyweights, trained by Teddy Atlas. Wilson landed a nice right hand right down the middle a moment ago. Hunter pulls his way into Wilson. 
But Wilson do well just to throw that jab up there. And there's some blood from the right eye now of Marion Wilson. So both of these veterans, scrap tissue around the eyes. Actually, they've done a great job closing the cut on the hunter's eye. And as you pointed out, Wilson cut the eyes. and it is all the eyelid. Boy, oh boy, they would have to go to the scorecards if it was a nine. But I didn't see it, but I don't think it was a bad. As a matter of fact, before this round, as a corner man for Wilson, his tendon told me he was taking a look at that eye. So I think it might have been a small cut, which has got bigger in this round. Maybe opened up by some of those left hooks that uh, Hunter's tried to land. Very interesting turn in his life. Hey, Wilson, Give me three five. Now. Five. I think he hit him closer to his knee. And that'll slow up a guy. And there he goes. He hit him on the hip again. A very old trick used by fighters. The end of round seven. Mike Hunter holding his side. Now that left side has to ache mighty bad. Let's listen to the corner of Mike. The body hunter. Just concentrate what you got to do. We're going in round eight pounds. No, nope, not bounce eight. Eight rounds, you got three more rounds. It's amateur fighting now. You got three rounds. You understand me? Now you got to really relax. Let your hands go. Be alert. You understand? Be alert. Don't let them hit you with nothing. Let your hands go. You understand me? Bing, bing, look. Go under and over, over and under. You understand me? I come back to protect yourself, man. You understand? Under, 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 under. And the well, let's look back at some action. Earlier in the seventh round. You want to be a champion? Give me three fucking and championship rounds. Just three. The body you shot again. Let's hey, look for the uppercut. No, nope. right hand there. Doesn't even look like he was uh, cut at that instant. I don't know when that cut happened. Okay, John, three rounds to go. How do you have it scored? I believe I have Wilson ahead by a round. Close fight here in Atlantic City. Round eight, scheduled for 10. Mike the Bounty Hunter in the green trunks. Now they're dark green because of perspiration of liquid. Marion Wilson in the black trunks. Did a good job, not much blood evident over the right eye of Marion Wilson. And it looked like a nasty gash to Ed round seven. Hunter trying to go back to the jab a little bit. Set up that right hand, which you just saw him throw. Didn't quite hit the mark. Chasing Hunter around the way. Hunter's arms are down. He's tired. He's so tired he can't even hold him up. Exactly right. Uh, Wilson had an opportunity there. Could not pull the trigger. Couldn't pull it. Sometimes you see something as you're wading in, and I think he was more there of getting hit with a right hand on the counter, and he decided discretion was the, uh, what do they say, better part of the battle. Well done. Once again, Hunter throws the left field. Nothing there. Mike is just trying to, uh, I don't want to say sucker punch him, but he's just he's throwing those home run balls, hoping that Marion Wilson runs into something. So far, it hasn't worked. Marion Wilson has really worked over the body of Mike Hunter. If you, we get a shot at it, looks like there's a broken blood vessel there on the left rib of Mike Hunter. Well, they has been tattooed right there. Also, they did a terrific job of closing the cut on Marion Wilson. No blood at all here. The minute 20 still to go in round eight. Great job in the corner. Nice dip left jab. Rocks Hunter. Hunter. Taking punches, lefts and rights for Marion Wilson to jump. Front of the mark. Little body shot in there just to get Wilson to slow up a little bit. But you could just see those legs on Mike Hunter very unsteady. And they throw it. Oh, very wild left uppercut off his left foot that time, but just totally exposed himself. Now, Mike Hunter should be ashamed of himself as a professional to do that. He knows better than that. Stop punching, fellas. But he's looking to land that one Sunday punch, Larry, that turns his fight around. Usually, you're not going to win fights doing that. I don't think he has a knockout power either, John. When you consider Barry Wilson has never been knocked out, you're really hoping for a miracle if you're Mike Hunter. And again, the right hand by Ron 
Wilson with a left jab and a bottle shot. The story of this fight. Wilson should push him right back to the ropes right now. Let both hands go to the body. There we go. Good left hand to the stomach of Hunter. Boy, when Mike gets hit to the body, you see him fire back. That's when he, he throws most often is when he gets hurt to the body. And he probably does have a, a damage rib cage. Good body shot there. A mouthpiece went flying to end that round. That was Mike Hunter. He didn't spit the bet that time, John. Yeah, got, yeah, spit forward yeah. by a punch from Hold Wilson. Hold the syndrome again, man. We got so Man, can you give me four back punch, on That was a legitimate punch. Punch, punch and keep punch. Let's what listen to the corner on Wilson. Man, you hold him in there, Mo. Okay. We can win this in, man. The dangerous rounds now we're going into. Okay. We got to get him. You can have your rounds, sir. Yeah, don't it? If you want it, here's where it comes. Here's where you take it. Stop punching and grabbing. Punch and keep punching. No corners. And... Here's a little sequence with a left jab of Marion Wilson. By chopping right hand, really. That's, those are illegal punches, technically. You're not allowed to hit to the back of the head. That was the sequence that we did see earlier. In oh, we got to stop him, okay. Left jab. Oh, that, was that enough for Wilson to take that round? I thought so. I gave it to Wilson. Give him that jab. Pick a shot and make sure you land him, all right? Make sure you land the punches, man. All right, don't miss them. Heavyweight explosion of the Sever Kushner Sports Network. Round nine scheduled for 10. And we've seen a dandy fight. Marion Wilson from Hillcrest Heights, Maryland against Mike the Bounty Hunter from Greenville, South Carolina. When we talk about broadcasts and scorecards, we know that means nothing. And a fight can be scored totally different. I don't know how it could be. I think uh, you might be a little generous to Mike the Bounty Hunter on your scorecard. Well, I've given him three of eight rounds, so uh, we'll see. A couple of the rounds were very close, and again, you see Hunter trying to hit low. And really, uh, referee Eddie Cotton is not doing his job tonight, in my opinion. He should be warning these fighters. I've seen a lot of illegal blows, but what we're seeing in boxing in the 90s is fighters get away with anything. It started really with Mike Tyson in the 80s, and it's continued to happen. Nice right hand by Mike Hunter. Spraying the perspiration off the head of Marion Wilson, but Wilson in control still has his guard up. Head up there as Hunter came in head first. What's he been about? Stop you know, but there's a reason there's a rule book. There's a reason there's a rule book. The rules need to be enforced. And the, and the referee in the center of the ring is the only man that can do that. Nice left hand now. Hunter turns his back on Wilson. Supposed to protect yourself at all times, I thought. Well, Mike has just uh, become a very sloppy fighter late in this fight. I mean, he's, it wasn't exactly razor sharp early on, but you can just see the strength sapping from him. Wilson has stuck to his game plan. Got to get him Mike to the ear, and the body shots continue. Wilson has definitely found a target. I'm starting to think there's a bullseye painted on the back of uh, Hunter's neck. I'm surprised we haven't seen more clowning from Mike Hunter because that has been his, uh, his record. You know what, I think Larry, he knew early on in this fight, this was no fight to clown in because he was in for a fight tonight with Marion Wilson. Sometimes a guy clowns though to try to distract the opponent when he knows he's in trouble. And I thought maybe the Mike Hunter would try that scoring inside of a nice right hand. 30 seconds to go in round nine. I don't know if Mike Hunter has enough time to pull out this fight. I don't know, the last time I've seen so many rabbit punches land, uh, and I don't want to get down too badly on Marion Wilson because he's probably fought a better fight than, than people expected him to. But a lot of those blows are illegal. Wilson beginning to show us up the team, laying on Hunter, closing seconds of round nine. Three minutes to go in this 10-round heavyweight fight. Hey, Mo, what you doing? Mike Wilson, John Saracino. We're at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Why are you still in that damn syndrome of holding this shit? Man, what the fuck is that holding syndrome? Man, why are you still in that syndrome? Well, done it again, man. Well, fuck, man, give a fight away, man. Why you gotta keep holding, please, when you throw some punches? You see, not throw combination. Throw five, six punches at a time. You gotta press this, man. Mo, you gotta be on top this round. And give it away, man. This is just a wild guess, but I have to say that Mary Wilson's corner is not happy with him. No, 
Get back in the back. 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 Get back in The tenth and final round. Eddie Cotton, the referee, has the fighters touch gloves. And really a good performance by either fighter. Might close the door. I could see Hunter maybe stealing a draw out of this. Maybe a little bit more. You never know. I don't know. Marion Wilson's really got to come out and win this round now, I think. He doesn't, you don't want to take a chance. The question is, what do they have left in both gas tanks? Right now, that needle's up very close to E for both fighters. Well, Mike the Bounty Hunter's been on fuel since the eighth round. Maybe earlier. There's that body shot. Let's go, Matt. Really effective blow by Wilson. Again. Right there, Matt. Nice jab by Wilson. Effective as a jab and tie up against the body. I'll tell you what, Mary Wilson. Down goes Hunter. Is that a body shot? That was a body shot. I don't know why it's down. I'm having a hard time getting up. And the referee not calling it a knockdown. How can Eddie Cotton not call that a knockdown? We'll have to check the replay at the end of this round. In any event, the 10th round continues. What I was going to say earlier was that on the inside, Marion Wilson really doesn't know how to fight on the inside, and that's where sometimes Hunter takes advantage. Nice left jab by Wilson, another jab by Wilson. I thought it was a body shot that landed. I thought so too, that wasn't a slip, unless he just fell down from exhaustion. But you know what? I mean, that's not a slip, that's a, if you fall down, you're down. If, if you fall down from your own, if you just lay down and put your knee down or take a rest or you're tired or whatever it is, that's a knockdown. Another body shot by Barry Wilson. Closing minute of this fight. And the tape on Hunter's left glove is off, but I don't even think we're going to see a stoppage for this. The right hand just ripping body shot to the ribs of Hunter. Who misses? Wildly. seconds to go. Right on the nose. Well, that uppercut that Hunter tried to sneak in there just whistled by Marion Wilson's chin. Well, we thought it would be a distance fight unless something happens in the last 27 seconds. They got another tape job here for Hunter. They're just going to cut him off with 25 seconds to go. Okay, wait. Okay, you, you got it right now? Yeah. Boy, Mike Hunter's got to let everything fly here. I'll tell you one thing, Mike Hunter is not going to sleep on that left side of the night. He's going to have a hard time finding any side to sleep on. Oh, man, I can just feel those at one side. Oh, that was up by Wilson. Hunter in some trouble now in his corner. Mike Hunter raises his hand, John Saraceno. Marianne Wilson raises his hands. Whose hand would you raise if you were in the ring? Marion Wilson. I thought he controlled the fight. I thought that he made Hunter fight his fight, and Mike didn't really fight the fight he wanted to, only in spurts. I thought the Wilson was much more aggressive, much more active. I thought for the majority, he landed the, the solid, clean blows in the fight. Now let's take a look. Was it a body shot? Did he just fall down? What happened? Here you see the fighters will lock up. See if we can catch the punch. No, he just fell down. He just plain fell down. Got a little push, though. And it was a good call by the referee. One. We stand corrected. I didn't see a punch land there. No. It wasn't not at all. Not Wilson. Yeah. Give me a towel, Eddie. Give me a towel. Would you be surprised if Hunter got the decision? I would be surprised, but as we know in boxing, I would not be stunned. No such thing as a sure thing. That's for sure. Don't be surprised if there's a draw. Although I don't think it was a 
an even fight. I thought Wilson had the, the edge. Michael Buffer standing by with the decision. Very competitive fight. Mike the bounty hunter. Boy, if you're Mike right, Wilson. Now let's head up to the ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Trump Taj Mahal, we go to the scorecards. Paul Venti scores the bout 97 to 93. He has it for Hunter. John Potteray scores the bout 96 to 94. He scores it for Wilson. And Richard Strange scores the bout 96 to 94 for the winner by split decision. Marion Jackhammer Wilson. Marion Wilson. Probably the happiest guy in the Taj Mahal right now. His eighth professional victory against 16 defeats, and that's got to taste sweet. Hey, anytime you can come in and win in Atlantic City and do it on television, you're doing something for your career, even if you have a 17, 7, 16, and 3 record. And thank goodness we had two referees who could see tonight. Mike Wilson would not shake the hand of Marion Wilson. Uh, Mike Hunter, I should say, would not shake the hand of Marion Wilson. Walked out of the ring. I got a funny feeling that Mike Hunter knows he lost the fight. He might not want to admit it to us, Larry, but I think he knows he lost it. Main event right around the corner. Unbeaten Luke Severis, 31-0. Puts that unbeaten record on the line against Olean Alexander from Waukegan, Illinois, with a record of 24-5. And our action is brought